Hello, welcome back to the Maestro Bubble for game two of today's EABL Summer Showcase. James Watt take on Derby College. I'm joined today, well, I'm actually joining this game by, uh, by my favourite co-commentator, Mike Bernard. <laughs> How you doing, Mike? I'm good, Coach. How's, how's uh, the game's been going for you? Yeah, not too bad, actually. It's been a, been a good day so far. It was an interesting game with, uh, with Manchester and Sheffield. Sheffield did really well, especially for the first two quarters. Sorry, for the, first, for the middle part of that game. Uh, but Manchester obviously started out well. You know, really, really finished well as well. It's an entertaining game to watch. Really looking forward to this one. Um, James Watt and uh, Derby, two of the... Uh, Premier programs in the Northern EABL. Derby without star man Blake Bowman, who is probably watching the stream from uh, from America. I know the fans will be uh, a little bit disappointed to hear that he's not playing, but obviously we wish Blake well. I must say, it is it is nice to have you back by my side in this. You know. Troy was, you know, very knowledgeable, but I didn't have the, uh, the same rapport with him. I didn't feel. I appreciate that. That's really, you know, kind words. What are you looking for from the bigs today? We've got some uh, some standout performances so far in the, in, uh, in the summer showcase. Yeah, there should be a lot of intimidation inside. Um, you know, there's a lot of athletes on the floor right now. That's going to be fun. as the players take the knee. So you're saying, Mike, a lot of athletes out there? Yeah, should be a, it should be a really fast game, interesting game. Hopefully uh, the refs are ready for an up and down type of game. Hooper will be challenging Ilya for the, uh, the jump. Hooper has been a feature of the top plays in the EABL over the last couple of weeks. Looking forward to seeing these two go at each other in this one. Been playing above the rim a lot. He has. A lot of dunks. Ilya with an early touch inside. Donka will head to the line. I think we're going to see a lot of that inside action as well. High, low, inside. You, what are you looking for out of your bigs in this situation? You know, I, I think one of the biggest things that we talk about is the initial positioning. Now, what, what are you looking for from these guys? Well, like you said, uh, just establishing position early, trying to, trying to gain an advantage on offense uh, so that you can get an easy, easy catch and an easy finish. So it's that early, earlier establishment of position. As Donka makes the first one go. Donka gets them both. Burning off to a good start. Hooper. First break. Birmingham applying the pressure right off the, right off the gate. Mm -hmm. Added edgy and lucky there. I'm nearly forced to steal. It'll be a derby ball from the end line. Webster breaks up the possession and in transition and almost throws it out the door. We'll, uh, we'll take it from the corner from here, Birmingham. I think very, very similar to the first game. You know, I'm sure we'll see a nerves will need to settle for the first three or four minutes. Key to have control of the ball. Not throw it out of bounds too many times. Yeah, they just need to find a, find a rhythm and then they'll get going. Surely both teams will just need this first quarter to... Uh, to establish that rhythm and, and then the game should be pretty Sam Cheshire gets one to go at the ring tied to Hooper Carl Alexander gets the roll open the account for Derby Tumba to Cheshire. Cheshire rolls it over the front of the ring. James Watt jump out to a 6-2 lead early in this one. Denido will head to the line. Game number two of the day here at the Maestro Bubble on NBL Live. 
game three will be following as uh, Maesco entertain Charnwood College. Carl Alexander sticks the three. Six, five, James Watt lead. Classic Matt Shaw press there. Two, two, one, back to zone. Coach Shaw, renowned for unbelievable fundamental basketball, but is, he does like to stick that zone in there. Yeah, he, he likes to press and go back into his, into his zone. Ilya to Cheshire, Adedeji, Natumba inside, Donka misses, Alexander collects the rebound, Quick for the outlet, just about get there, Webster, Hooper, to Alexander for three, nothing going, Adedeji collects the rebound, Strong to the right, nothing going there. A little bit of a nudge there, I think. Slight, slight contact, slight contact to put him off, his, off the layup. Sam Cheshire. Matumba inside, strong cut. He gets it to go. He really was putting a bit of a shift here early. Donker down low, gets back up on his put back pretty quickly there. Good start by the number 10. So Hooper, Alexander, Webster turns the ball over. Had a deji trying to get Birmingham into something. There we are. Kicks it out. Sam Cheshire's shot. Just off the mark. Can't give him too many of those. Donker on the glass. Being active in there. He's a real pest on the glass there, Mike. It's like I said before, he's started to establish position inside and using his size as frame to gain an advantage against the smaller smaller defender. So, you know, he's, he's using his body well and, and uh, creating position and, and gaining some, some points and advantages on it. Changes here as Costa isn't yet allowed to check in. I think there's a bit, a bit of confusion on the substitution. Yeah, he needs to take his top off. I think the one that he has underneath his jersey. How oh, I think that rule is as old as the sun. I'm oh, not too sure why. <laughs> I still try it. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to understand that, especially be, especially with it being a long sleeve as well. <laughs> it would have been different if it was a short sleeve, but it was long sleeve, white top. Doku has checked in for James Watt. As Costa finally makes it to the court. Former Manchester player. Hooper. Webster looks inside, turned over. Elia comes up with a steal. Again. There it is. Guy Donko. Get an early transition, stuffs it home. It's the kind of play we're looking for in a summer showcase. Timeout call. Again, running the floor, finishing at the rim. Way to break up the passing lane there by Josh. Ilya Donka showing it all in transition. Stuffs it home. 14 5, James Watt leads. Sure, Coach Shaw. He's got a lot to uh, talk over here with the guys. 
Derby struggling to generate any kind of easy scores so far this first yeah, period. Not, you know, it's like we said before, they've not established their rhythm yet. Um, found their foot in, especially with some of the inside presence as well that they may have. And, you know, the guards are trying to get their open looks and they're finding it hard. So they'll, they'll, they'll find their foot in. Match, you know, Matt's really good at drawing up stuff and, and getting them into a rhythm. So we'll see what happens this, this time. In. Coach Hansel must be ecstatic with a start that his team has made. Guys are pumped up. Really flexing, you know, the, that size really, using that strength. Done a really good job asserting themselves on Derby early in this one. Donker out to a hot start. Seven points personal. Nice patience inside a hooper. See it etched in the stars, etched all over the top 10 plays. He's trying to get that, that top 10 play again by finishing, uh, Ilya, finishing over the rim. Ilya wins that battle, but who will win? The interior war, eh, Mike? Yeah, we'll see this. This can be an ongoing battle throughout this game. I hope so. I do hope so. This Hooper sticks the first one. Empty on the second. Possession derby. I think he may have stepped over the line early on his free throw. Ah, that one. Classic. The referees love that one. See a little bit of trap here. Cheshire working the baseline, skips it out. Out of edgy. Sticks it off the Sam Cheshire feed. And James Watt lead 17 to 6. So five minutes left in the first quarter. Nothing going uh, for Costa. Some Cheshire up and under. Give me that. Take the arm one there as well. Again, Ooh. running out in the transition, getting them easy buckets, playing playing really good defense down this end, and then finishing at the rim the other way. In your day, Mike, would you have gone up and under on that and uh, finished on the opposite side? No, obviously, I'm a, I'm a different person, but probably would have finished above the rim on that one. <laughs> You'd be making the top ten players of the week then, right? Yeah, I'd be number one. <laughs> I probably would have jammed it into the bottom of the ring. It's all right. Yeah. It's all right. <laughs> we're not all we're not all athletic. <laughs> They're gonna run for ages though. <laughs> Sam Cheshire collects the bonus. Twenty six early lead here for James Watt. Costa. Hooper. It out. Straight into Addo. the press. On the score, straight into the press. Oh, here it is. Pinched away. Addo coming in here, making himself known instantly. Yep. Foul there. Carl Alexander driving the lane. Picks up the cheap one off Doku. Referee wanted to give it. It was a shooting foul, but thought better of it. And line possession for Derby. Alexander puts it up. No points. Match start. Oh, James Watt always looking for that little push in transition, aren't they? They look early, want to get out there and run. Put that pressure on the defense as quickly as they can. What's your, uh, you know, what, as your take as a as a coach, slowing a team down? Which, how, are we, how are we doing that? What's the? Obviously, it's contained. Trying to keep the ball in front of you, uh, not trying to not trying to force the steal in the, in the you know in the backcourt and trying to just hold the guy in front. If you Cheshire. overplay him, he will beat you. Especially with this team, the way the way this team's playing, the way Birmingham's playing, they're trying to play up and down. So trying to keep them contained, keep the guy in front. Costa, a rearranged shot. 
Comes up short, gets it back. Got the confidence to try again. Is rewarded with a triple. Costa comes up with it. Got all the handles. Smooth. Float and no good. It's James Watt pull possession to Ilya. Inside. Duncan not able to come up with it. Extras there. Sam Cheshire is open. Creates a space. Really nice patience there by Sam Cheshire. Really nice touch, nice, nice mid-range jump shot. It's the second one I think he's taken. And it was he's something really confident with it. It was something we alluded to in uh, game one. As Addo replies, uh, if you've got the weapon of being able to shoot and you can hit that shot, have the patience sometimes to create something for yourself because typically people are going to have to guard you on the perimeter. And then being guarded, you know, there's an opportunity for you to go by them, as you saw with Sam Cheshire there. Very strong to the basket there. Had a deji. Six points personal. Carrying the load at the point guard position. Doing really well. Costa. Addo. Puts it up for three. Nothing going. Pulled down by Hooper. Ilias there to meet him. Foul called on the play. Hooper's eyes lit up again. Ilya rotated down and was having none of it. And the referees called a foul. Timeout called. Steve Hans wants to talk it over with his guys. Great to see the guys back on court, right, Mike? Yeah, it's really good, you know. It's great to have the guys back on the floor. It's great to be coaching again. I really appreciate that, you know everything that people are doing to get everyone back on the floor. I've got a shout out as well to everyone that made the uh, summer showcase happen. It's been uh, great to see it all over social media. Uh, a lot of people saying that EABL is back. We see the same with the WEAB as well. It's great to see. You know, the other leagues as well, back in play. That's where we want to be. That's right, you know, for, especially for these, you know, these young, young players, you know, they need to be back on the floor playing, playing the game that they love to play. 100%. I think the last time we were here was in December, right? We, we had December a, for the... For the a Lynch the Cup. Lynch, Lynch Cup. Lynch Trophy, sorry. Lynch, yeah, yeah. That's it, Lynch Trophy. Last time we were here. Obviously, we haven't had a chance to commentate on any games since then. I'm pretty sure we both, as well as probably those listening, would both prefer if we were coaching, but here we are. Yeah, they, they, I guess they've, they've probably not missed our voices. <laughs> Hooper to the line. Derby trying to eat back into this nine-point lead. Gets the first to go. Hooper's first point. That's his second point, in fact. Long on the second. James Watt come up with possession. To the hands of Cheshire. Darby back into the zone. Some Cheshire to work it out on the perimeter. Finds that little pocket of space again and knocks it down right there. Causes a long closeout. Has the patience to get his man unbalanced. He is looking really smooth out there on that perimeter. Really smooth. Came with loads of confidence, hitting the mid-range, getting to the basket and hitting the open guys, hitting his own, sticking his own three. Carl Alexander finds another one. Takes him on to eight points. Derby keep it within touching distance. He's another guy that's, that's feeling confident from behind the three as well. I think that's like his, his, third, or, his third or fourth attempt. Sam Cheshire unable to get the layup go, to go there. Addo sends it back to him. It's Costa. He's getting involved here. Jump ball called. Possession will stay here with Derby. 
Cooper checks out of the game. Amandas is in for the first time for the Trailblazers. Costa takes a seat. Blessing into the game for James Watt. Here he is again. Carl Alexander filling it up on three. Single handedly keeping Derby in this one in the early stages. Sam Cheshire slows the game down. A screen from Donker. Foul drawn. Back to the stripe. That's a battle of the scorers, battle of the two scorers for both teams. Yeah, Alexander currently with 11 points. Sam Cheshire with 12 points. He's two really going at it. We saw it in the uh, game before. Sacco and McGrail really putting on a show for Sheffield College. Elgin Govan was uh, hitting them from everywhere. If you get a chance to go back and watch that, you'll find it on the uh, Basketball England YouTube channel. First one is good for Cheshire. Short on the second, but that man again. Donker. Getting it done inside. Getting it done inside. And a turnover for Derby. As we have 30 seconds left in this first quarter. Eight point game. <laughs> Tough move. And the tumba finishes at the ring. One Tough possession move. left in this one. Definitely a tough move, but some people will call that move, call that a travel. Nine seconds. Hold here, looking to find anything. He's gone, on his own, gone alone. Can't find the rim. And that's the end of the first. As James Watt lead by 10, 32, 22. Battle of the guards at the moment. We thought it'd be a bit more of a, you know, obviously Donker is coming in there and you know, he's cleaning up, doing his thing through nine points and seven rebounds. But at the moment, the, the story is between Sam Cheshire and Carl Alexander, who are you know, really fighting it out there from the, from the guard position. That's the one thing that's keeping him in, though, is, is like we said before, is the inside presence of Birmingham and the outside presence. So, you know, that's what's, that's what's got them the lead. Coach Shaw can't be happy with giving up 32 points through that first period you know against the uh, Sheffield it was over 100 obviously here 32 it's going to want to tighten that defense up pretty quickly but I will say having played against coach Shaw a number of times he is never afraid to let his guys loose on the offensive end and they usually find a way yeah, they'll, they'll, they'll um, dig deep and find a way you know, no doubt about that Matt's a very good coach and you know, he knows what he's doing most of the time some would say most of the time Both teams coming back out onto the floor. No changes. I think the other thing about the, the showcase stuff is, you know, having that opportunity to, you know, not not as much as it's been, you know, in league players. A little, there's obviously a lot. You always know, still want to win, but there's still, you know, a, a less less pressure. I think on coaches to almost keep the best guys in. You see a lot better rotations and. I, I, would, I would think the same, you know, it's, 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 it's probably a lot easier now just with it not being a, a full-blown competition, just, you know, get everybody on the floor, give them a chance to 
to get some game, you know, games in and and be able to play. Donker is there again. He doesn't seem to leave the paint. <laughs> He's there. He's always there. Cheshire. Donker with the screen. Cheshire for three. Beb. There's our guy again. Blessing unable to come up with the shop. It's recycled back with Cheshire. It's James Watt. The full minute out of the clock here for this possession. As you can see there, good adjustment by Derby. Really boxing out on that last one. They can't be giving up three, four, five shots in a, in a possession. It'd be a long night if you continue that. It'd be a long, long night. We say one and done, right, Mike? Right. Very true. One and done. So you get your possession. Donk is there. Donk is there to contest Addo. Ilya. Sorry, Donker, there it is. Ah, he did call that. It does seem to be in that key for a lot of time. Referee eagle-eyed to that one. Blows it up. As Hooper checks back into the game for Derby. Prosper. In fact, it was Webster. Webster for three for Derby. Needed that one. Sam Cheshire getting it done again. Showing his versatility, Mike. He is. He's getting it done out, out there on, on the front. He's you know, scoring at will. Side to Hooper. He kicks to the corner. Armadas. No points. Here comes up with it in the hands of Cheshire. Blessing. Finds Natumba. Sam Cheshire. Can't give him that space. I mean, he's going to fancy that. He's going to, you know, he's going to hurt your nut if you give him that space, right? You know, he's the main scorer right now. You're going to continue to give him daylight. He will score. As Hooper puts it up off the backboard. Nothing going. Possession with James Watt. Big changes coming in here. Added Edgy back into the game. Akibi checks in for James Watt. As Donka gets a well-earned break. And Bogle is in to the game for the first time for James Watt. There it is, the high-low. Akibi gets it to go off the high-low. Another timeout called. Coach Shaw is not happy with his guys. A miscommunication out at the top. Coach Shaw not happy with the uh, the one-handed passes. Wants his guys to tighten up with their passing. Um, I'm pretty sure Coach Shaw is about to mix it up. With um, he might jump into some junk defense. I think we might see a little bit of triangle and two here. Sam Cheshire, obviously I think he will be one of the, uh, the guys that gets the attention. Very interested to see kind of how this plays out over the next couple of minutes. Let's see if, um, I mean obviously I've got the inside knowledge because I was listening in. Be very interested to see whether it works and how quickly James Watt can figure it out. Yeah, it would be, better be very interesting to see how they figure it out. Obviously, they, you know, they've got two big bodies in there. I think, I think they're going to stick to the high-low situation, try and get some easy ones inside because, you know, they've got the lead right now. So 
they'll probably just gain that advantage by creating contacts and fouls. You can see there, Derby straight back into the triangle and two. Cheshire defended all over the place by Costa. They're taking both the guards out of the possession. Somehow, Cheshire manages to get that catch. Still working it there. A little bit unsure with James Watt as the shot clock runs down to six. Nothing going. Nice kick, Costa. There's not a shot that he's going to turn down, I don't think. I think Costa is going to put those ones up. I think he probably rushed that one. I think he caught it a little bit quickly. Um, put that one up a bit too fast, not realizing there was a guy in the short corner. The value of the extra pass, eh, Mike? Yeah, that, was, that one was, you know, was needed there. Webster unlucky. And this is the problem that they might find, that if James Watt are able to break quickly, that doesn't give Derby a chance to set up their, their defense. So actually finding a score is very important. And if there isn't a score, slowing that transition down is critical. James Watt are able to run. There's going to be a huge scramble on defense, which is going to leave you quite open, I think, if you're, if you're Derby. We've got pressure here on the guard. Cooper. Rawlings into the game for the first time for Derby. It's Costa looks to go to work. Again, just getting stuck in there. It's just got to be a more simple, right? Yeah, a little bit simple. Bring, that little bit, bring it out a bit. I think it was congested in there for him to try and create. Back into that triangle and two. Again, Cheshire with a catch. Costa there being a pest. Wants the dive. Oh, got something going on here. <laughs> I don't, for, I don't know. I don't know what to make of that, to be honest. I don't know what to make of that. Bit of a nice kid. He just, you know, I don't know. Probably made the, the contact was looked at a little bit differently. But. Kind of gave, gave, the, gave each other a better respect there and helped each other off. Definitely. The floor. There we go, subs in. Just taking a little bit of a lull here at the moment of the game. Sam Chesh is going to take a, a breather. Definitely tweaked his ankle there. Webster looking for Hooper. Hooper gets called in three seconds. Derby are going to continue with the triangle and two. Cheshire out of the game for a couple of minutes. No, I think they've gone to box and one now. Box and one, you're right. Ilya kicks it inside. Yeah, back on the glass, finishes it off. Got to do your work on the. You got to box out there, right, Mike? Got to box out. Like I said, you know, it's going to be tough. Inside, inside presence is, is going to be key for Birmingham right now. Yeah, up top. Bogle. Natumba, good to go to work. The Bogle. Takes it in strong. That's nothing. It's Derby throw the ball away. Costa's back in there. Happening for James Watt. Trying to throw it inside. Game's just lost a bit of its flow here.
Favourite big, Mike? Favourite big? Past, present, whatever player. Favourite big? Yeah. UK or uh, worldwide? You can, you can go NBA, you can go wherever you want. Well, obviously Shaq for me was my favourite big, yeah. NBA-wise. Why is that? Just because of his presence and the way he commanded, commanded the play and command, commanded the ball. And, you know, he was a fin powerful finisher inside. You know, you had to be aware of him wherever he was on the floor. So, um, when you were, uh, you know, obviously uh, for, the, for the, the viewers at home, Mike Bernard, give him a Google, and uh, I think you'll see a, a rich history. When you were at this age, under 19, who was your, who were you looking at for your, you know, to inspire you in terms of, you know, that interior player? Because obviously now a lot of guys will see the likes of LeBron, will see the likes of KD, and these guys that typically play on the perimeter, and that's, you know, maybe where they want their game to start. But obviously, the interior game is, is hugely important. So, where was it, you know, that you looked for your inspiration? Uh, f the four for me, from like NBA-wise, was uh, Shaq, obviously. Uh, Patrick Ewing was one. Um, Kim Elijah was the other one, and David Robinson. I always tried to imitate my game after each one of them with whatever skill set that they showed. I always tried to implement it into my game. Did you have like uh, any kind of routine that you would regularly work on? Something that you went to, like, you know, obviously, uh, again, doing my research on you and having looked at you play, that very good footwork, great touch around the ring, can stretch it out a little bit as well. Like, you know, what um, was kind of your... Much, pretty much shooting over, um, over my shoulder, you know, hook shots over my shoulder and stuff, right and left. Um, and then always trying to finish over the rim when I got close to it. So I always tried to make sure I got close to the rim so I could finish over the rim. And if you were to give some advice to a guard to get you the ball, what's your advice? Uh, create better angles to get the ball inside. Always make sure that your your big is always asking for the ball and commanding it with his, you know, asking for it with his hands and um, making sure his pos position is correct. Looks like here we got a a broken shot clock. I think they're going to move one of the shot clocks to the center, move it into the middle so that both teams can see it, so that both teams can call it out if needed. Delaying game here just for a broken shot clock. Looks like the guys are going to get back, on the, back into it as soon as possible. I would hate to be the person that's got to uh, fix that broken shot clock or the person that would have to replace it. Oh, that's going to be me. <laughs> yeah, that's definitely going to be you. <laughs> I'll order some new shot clocks now. A bit of a wiry fault in there. It's lucky you can find an electrician that can fix it for us. Luckily, they're really, really cheap. Any electricians out there that want to send us a message and send this over to you? No, I, think it's a loose, I think it's a loose wire in the back of it. I think that's what the um, table officials have been um, messing with it and getting it back going from time to time. So. Delaying game here, but we're almost back up and running. Mira and Divya Gracia doing their best catwalk impression, I think, there. In their 15 seconds of fame. We're back underway. Costa again, he's there. He's a pest. He's all, the best. He's all over the ball. Shot clock violation. Darby come up with a possession. Couldn't play. Uh, Hooper out in transition. Off the Euro. Nothing going. Control needed to be had. Costa fouls. Had a Deji who will go to the line for two. 3.42 to play in this one. James Watt lead. 38 to 25. Reminder, game three of the day will come to us at 5 p.m. It's Maestro take on Charmwood College. The rivalry resumes, Mike. Yeah, it should be a really good game back then. It's always, it's always, it's always good when Maestro win. Charmwood are playing against each other. Did you say it's always good when Maestro win? 
then. I mean, that is good, isn't it? Yeah, obviously. Yeah. yeah. Obviously, we're completely impartial from this commentary position. Yeah, trying, we're trying to keep it 50 50. Yeah. Kind of hard. Strong move there. Not afraid, not afraid to mix it up there, a little guy. Mix it up there and get, create some contact. Costa? Really? He's edgy. Edgy, yeah. He's not afraid, not afraid at all. Danido will check into the game. Give Webster a quick break. Sam Cheshire comes back in. Bogle will take a break for Jam for James Watt. Second shot clock's back running. Oh, a, the second shot clock's back running. That is brilliant. That is brilliant. Oh, a lovely finish there. Addo puts it away. I love that. I'm waiting for this game to explode. That's where I currently am. It's going gonna, it's gonna to happen at some point. A little set here by James Watt. Patience, some Cheshire. To the corner, attacks a long closeout. There it is. I'm really unlucky. Really, really unlucky. Here it's it Donker. is. Donker. Oh! Donker misses the leg down the other. Contests at the other end. Hooper's eyes lit up for probably the fourth time. He has to remember, these guys are ready to contest. They're ready to play at the ring. Keep sending them to the line. They are not wanting to feature on the top 10 plays of the week. Hooper misses the first. I've got to say, Mike, this has been a very consistent theme through the games that we've seen today. Free throws and, and not making free throws. Trying to see here on the start. So oh, we have split in his free throws. That time didn't convert on both. There it is. A make up for the two missed free throws. Addo. Sticks the three. It's a nine point game. 2.30 to play in this first half here at Myersco College. Costa is really playing close defense here, he's not allowing his man to get the ball. Nearly up. Oh, God. It's nearly there. Oh, guy. Donka follows up. Costa contested, met the ring by Ilya. Sam Shasha, the ball. Costa is there again. An offensive foul down low by Ilya. Position was established illegally, according to the referee. 11 point game, just under two minutes left. You want to see Derby have a little push here. Get it single digits coming into the half. Give Coach Shaw something to work with as we head into the second second half here. Costa on the ball. Addo. Nil Poir. Are you going to be watching uh, the... <laughs> you, know, you know what's up tonight, don't you? Eurovision finals. Speaking of Nil Poir, you're going to be watching it tonight? No, no. I think Troy told me he was definitely going to be watching that. I'm not sure what Troy's going to be doing. One thirty to play here, 11 point game. Tumba fouled by Addo. 
and line possession. Good opportunity here for James Watt to set their offense. Cheshire, corner three, isn't good. Is that Donker again? Sure is, collecting the offensive rebound. Donker up to 12 rebounds already, Mike. He's already on a double-double. Yeah. As Ilya puts it home, really two points. Work, really working hard and establishing that position, getting him offense, offensive boards. Great rebound there by James Watt. Ilya in transition. Foul by Addo. Ilya will step to the line for two. I've got to say it, Mike. Um, Donkey in particular, we, this is something that we preach, or we try and preach to the players, but he is uh, illustrating how you can quite easily get a double-double. Very much so. He's doing, the, he's doing the little things, and he's doing them really well. You know, he's, like he's, he keep talking about him getting good position and so on. You know, and he's doing that, and he's, he's, a, he's the garbage player right now. He's getting over the easy, easy touches inside and putbacks. But then when people look at the stat sheet at the end of the game, it doesn't necessarily matter, matter how you got those points. The fact that you got those points is what obviously counts. Well, your efficiency is going to be high, isn't it? 100%. Right? And plus incidentally... Minus, plus he, minus will be very high. And right now he's leading the team on plus minus. Thirty-one seconds left here. It's first half. A couple of possessions left. Unless there's any fouls. Ah, nice move by Deji. Just got to go with the left hand there. Puts it back out. There's no touch on the ring. Seven seconds left on the clock. Let's see if they see it. Sam Cheshire finds his pocket. Nothing on. Recycle it quickly. One second left. Sam Cheshire couldn't quite set his feet there. The great half uh, Cheshire nonetheless. As the half finishes, James Watt 43, Derby 32. Sam Cheshire leading James Watt with 15 points. Carl Alexander with 11 for Derby. Interesting half, Mike. Very interesting. Oh, you know, again, it was that inside presence for, for James Watt that's, you know, given this lead. Obviously, you know, you've got um, specific individuals out there hitting their shot from the outside, but that inside presence is what's causing the problem for Derby. A much slower second quarter there as well. 11-8 in favour. In fact, 11-10, sorry, in favour of James Watt. Uh, we went from 32-22 in the first. Definitely slowed down. Hoping for a uh, tick up in, uh, in action as we go into the second half. Stay with us. We will be back in just under 10 minutes.
Welcome back. Second half, the EABL showcase, game two at the Maestro bubble. And James Watt, our leading Derby College, 43 to 32. As Derby forced a turnover on the very first possession. Within three seconds, my killer. Almost, almost gave it right back. In fact, they did. They did. Some man, Sam Cheshire, in transition. Capitalise on that turnover. Gets the roll. Sam Cheshire moves out to 17 points personal. Alexander, can make it go? Oh, it's going to be a jump ball. Just getting the score back up for you. Our live stream, King and Queen are currently working on the technical details. Be back with you very shortly. Ilya pulls down the rebound. Donka inside. Matumba makes the pull up J. It's nice to see that in people's game though, that mid range jump shot. It's not always about getting to the rim. Webster dunks it off. Lovely pass there. Finds Carl Alexander for the easiest two that he'll score this game. I would like to see Derby up their intensity a little bit more. Really put some pressure on, especially the guard play of James Watt. There it is. Mistake forced. Double team coming across there on Ilya. Well read there by the Trailblazers. Have the possession. Not sure. Certainly pleased with that. One thing about a match short team as well, you cannot rule them out, yeah, no matter where they are. Always find a way to come back, always find a way to come back. I call him the fourth quarter king. I also call him the zone king. And a deji. That's a foul. Derby just looked to crank it up a little bit. James Watt certainly come out the second half. Just a, you know, a little bit lacking in rhythm. I'm sure Coach Hansel will find a way to find that pretty quickly. Number, number, number 10 has got, has got four fouls now. Just caused another offensive foul. Donko is fourth. It'll be interesting to see how quickly Coach Shaw goes at that makes a huge difference if he comes out of the game. I would be on that the next possession. Zilia find a Donkers in there again. Again. It's the Clean two. Up. There it is. Bit of a confusion here over his foul. It is, it is his fourth. And Donk will take a breather. See how uh, James Watt adjusts without him in the possessions or you know, on, on the uh, in the five. As Derby reverse the ball, move it around nicely. No points. Prosper inside to Ilya. Double team coming again. Darby really trying to put some pressure on that interior catch. Some Cheshire 
takes the air out of the ball, slows things down. Five seconds left in the, in the shot clock. Three. Don't think they realise it. It's a shot clock violation. Time to be doing a much jo better job of turning the heat upon their defence. James Watt found that adjustment just yet. Bogle looking ready to come back into the game. Addo. Addo, the spin move contested by Ilya. Adedeji, back with the ball. Cheshire. Cheshire puts it inside. Ilya on the reverse, nothing going. Darby come out with the possession. Back over the shoulder. Prosper. Prosper to Webster. Webster, big patience. Finds Addo, it's a shot. Unlucky. From there. James Watt ball. Coach Shaw is going to look to his bench for a little bit of energy. Not really able to capitalise on James Watt's slightly slower start to this quarter. 49 plays 37 with 6 with 5.40 to go. Costa back on the floor, Mike, providing uh, that defensive intensity that you like. Legal screen again. Legal screen. Probably, I think this is their fourth one in the game so far. What's your, uh, what's your advice? What's your... Believe it or not, I kind of gave that same advice to uh, uh, one of the bigs in Manchester, and he changed, he altered it for the, the uh, previous game. Just stand. You're big enough, you're wide enough to just make a guy go around you. You don't have to go head hunting. You know, once, you, once you take that position and establish those two feet, he's got to go around you at some point. Not uh, actually going to go through you. How much of the responsibility is on the guard or the ball handler in that situation as well? It's a lot, and you know he's got to he's got to wait. He's got to wait for the screen to be set. But you know, not not all guards wait for that screen to be set. You know, they do move early. So, you know, with a big, it's not, once the guard's gone, it's not go headhunt and just take that position. Alexander into the game for James Watts. As Costa brings the ball over for the Derby Trailblazers. Addo. Webster. Trying to work. Back to Costa. Somehow, with the jelly, he gets it to go. Told you that, 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 that boy finds a way. And it, Def offense and defense. It wasn't enough. He asked the ref for that foul as well. Right, that pressure there. They've got to keep with that, though. You know, they've got to find a way to get back into the game, keep chipping away. Just like I said before, like, you know, turn the pressure and the heat upon the, particularly on James Watt's guards. All I say is James Watt get into their offense just a little bit too easily. So it's good to see Derby up in their intensity. Cheshire finds Ilya. Cheshire's a beautiful move there. With Costa on his shoulder, played in one way, played into the other. Great cut, slash and finish. Derby looks to respond and There's do so through Webster. Costa finding a way to sneak through those little gaps and find the open man. He can't finish himself. Ilya double teams. Pitches it back out. Bit of illegal defense there though in the inside. Playing with that knee. Free letting it go. Yeah, screen. another moving screen again. It's the fifth one. Just the roll is coming too soon. Don't fix and roll that quickly. Just get up there, reject and roll. Do it in one motion. I think he's not caught it there. Maybe if you just 
just hold the position a little bit longer then. Yeah. Just, and, and not roll. Just you know the referee's calling it. Just hold the position and, and basically make it a guard decision. So it's a nine-point game here. It's Costa takes Costa it in there again. strong. Two Costa points. Again. That little man's finding a way. Elia, double team coming. Pressure on. Trying to pass over his shoulder. Some Cheshire relieves the pressure. Still there. Oh, out of bounds. Foul. Costa just a little bit eager. Knocked over the advert board. No doubt they will not pick it up. Yes, it's uh, folded itself, so I don't think it will. Oh, maybe it will. Uh, no, it's, fold it's folded itself. It's not going to get through. Oh. Foot right there by the referee. Amandes back into the game. Giving Carl Alexander a little bit of a breather. Alexander yet to find his first half rhythm. Still leads the way with 13 points for Derby. Once again, uh, obviously a shout out to everyone who's watching at home. Thank you for taking the time to make us part of your afternoon. Great to see these guys back on court after such a, a long period away. Also great to have the EABL and the WEABL back. Especially here on Basketball England's NBL Live. Kibi back into the game. Alexander, take a breather. As Costa brings the ball up for Derby, finds Hooper. Hooper's been pretty quiet so far, Mike. Yeah, he's yeah. been missing a bit. Oh, oh there we go. Nice take, nifty there move. There we go. Adadeji, got some sources at Adadeji. Costa, inside. Deji again. Mandus making the cut. Arby forcing the long closeout. Webster into Hooper. Hooper at the top of his shot gets it over. Ilya. There he is. Just found a, found a, a, found a little touch inside. Celia. Make a move on inside. Hooper comes up with it. This is the battle we want to see. Amandas. No points. Yeah, pulls down the rebound. In the hands of a Deji. Deji with 14 points, four rebounds for James Watt. Here he is again. Not able to make it go. Costa leads a break for Derby. Webster takes baseline. Sam Cheshire's there. Sam Cheshire pokes it home. 58 plays 46. I think James Watt doing a really good job managing their lead at the moment, Mike. Every time that Derby do come back into it, they're there ready to snuff it out, come up with some you know decent possessions. And again, you know that, that whole concept of James Watt running the floor, running the break, break really well, scoring out in transition and getting the easy scores. I think Derby rushed a couple of a couple of possessions. They rushed the shot, um, transition three. Uh, didn't you know they didn't convert on that transition three, which then James Watt ran it ran it back down at them and they scored scored it in, in the line. Cost it to the line for two. Makes the first. Second is good. 
Costa, who will take a breather. Carl Alexander back into the game for Derby. Now trail by 10 with 1.32 left in this third quarter. Just a reminder that after this game, Maesco College will be taking on Charnwood College in the last showcase game of the day. Tip-off was due to be at 5 p.m., but is likely to be pushed back by 10 minutes. That game will, of yes. course, be here on the YouTube channel. Moving screen. Another moving screen. Not happy, Mike. No, well, as a big man, I'm really not happy with these moving screens and violations that I keep seeing on them. Corner three for Alexander is good. There it is. Been missing a little bit. He's, he's back. He's back, and we have ourselves a seven-point game. That's the one thing that's you know that's been going well for Derby is they have been finding the outside, the outside shot. You know, it's just some guys have just not been converting it, but now they've got the shooter back on the floor. You can see them converting a little bit more, a little bit better. I think here as well, you start to see the importance of Donka for uh, for James Watt. Like he does, does all the little things, makes a huge difference. And obviously, with him not on the floor, you know, you're missing that guy that's super active, that's getting you those garbage points, some pieces like that. You're missing the glue. <laughs> 29 seconds left here in this third quarter. It's Foster. Checks into the game for Derby. Giving Danido a quick break. Forces first minutes. Tumba back in for Bogle for James Watt as a timeout is called by coach Hansel 22 seconds left in this one this third quarter seven point game Derby at the line I think he could go any way from this point Mike and as I said before coach Shaw in the fourth quarter that's when he uh, comes to life Trying to keep it in their, sing their single digits all the way into the fourth quarter, so he has a better chance of coming back into this. Really give themselves a, a good shot here, good chance. Very interested to see how uh, Derby come out of this. Off Derby free throws. Let's let's have a quick prediction here. What are you going to go with? Press? Yeah, they have nothing to lose if they press now, gain an advantage if they get the steal. What I would not want to see is a foul. No. Not right now. It's going into a, it's like it's going to be a one, two, two press. Let's see what happens. Check back into the floor. We've got these uh, free throws first. James Watt currently on 58 points. Derby 51. So reminder, James Watt playing as the home team here with Derby playing as the guests. This Webster Good makes a second three for a zone press. Sitting back to zone. Got to look after Sam Cheshire. Gets the catch. Congested. It's the two, well defended by Derby. The last shot. It's not quite there. And that'll be it for this quarter. It's a six point game as we head into the fourth. James Watt leading 58 
53. Sorry, 52. We will be right back after this short break. Ten minutes to go in this one here. James Watt currently leading Derby 58 to 52. Sam Cheshire leading the way for James Watt with 21 points. Carl Alexander with 16 for Derby. Sam Cheshire, patience. Deji. Derby looks like they're playing a 2 3 zone. Deji not able to convert. Hooper comes up the rebound, back to India. India over his shoulder, draws the contact from Foster. And we'll go to the line for two shots. Long on the first. Gets a chance at another one. It's quite low scoring after that first quarter, mate. 32 22 after one in favour of James Watt. The defence has picked up a little bit. Yeah, definitely. Cooper. To Webster. And Prosper. Oh, Prosper puts it up. Really is there to meet it, taps it off the backboard. That will be an interference. Two points will count, and we have ourselves a five point game with 9.15 to go. Zone really causing some issues here for James Watt. Range jump shot, no good. From a tumba, as Hooper pushes out in transition. Prosper, nothing going. Leah pulls it down. Here they are again. James Watt able to run the break. Sam Cheshire inside to Ilya. Cute move. Floats it home for two. Gives James Watt a little bit of respite. Derby chasing them hard here in this fourth quarter. As Carl Alexander needlessly turns the ball over. Addo checking back in. Replaces Foster. In comes your guy again, Costa. In for Alexander. You see Coach Shaw not happy with Alexander's handle down that other end. Costa coming in. I think he knows what his job is. Costa's into face guard. Sam Cheshire. Deny his catch. Yeah. Right inside play there. Really good pass in there. Nice to see the bigs connecting. Azilia finds Akibi. 
an easy two. That's the lead out to 11 for JMA. Have a turnover. Slip there. Can't be get it back. Costa. Addo. Back to Costa. It's going up. And it's going down. Three for Costa. Ourselves back to six points. It's going to be an interesting ending here. The ABL Summer Showcase on NBL Live. Costa with the rear range, then the rear range. Into the rear range for the miss. I would have gave him the contact on that one. The referee didn't, didn't call anything, but I think I would have on that. Apologies if we've had any difficulties with sound today. Our sound technician has been working very hard to get us as close to perfect as possible. Six thirty-six left to go here. James Watt leads sixty-three fifty-seven. Here comes the cleanup man with four fouls. Six thirty-two. I mean, it's his time now. It's definitely his time. So hopefully, he doesn't pick up an early one on one of the moving screens. I'm pretty sure if that happens, you will go on to the court. A shot clock violation against James Watt. Just lost eyes of the shot clock there. Big possession now. Now we need a score here. Cut this to four. I, I cut to three. A cost of three. You call him a cost of three? Cost of three. I mean, he's hit his last one. He missed, he missed the one after that, but he did kind of take a long range, a really long deep yeah. three. With with, a, with his defender in front of him, the previous three was he was wide open. Went inside to Hooper, Hooper up over his shoulder, nothing going. Ilya pulls it down. James Watt an opportunity to get out in transition. Derby have done a much better job slowing their transition down in the second half. Really have kept Sam Cheshire quiet as well. Apparently leads the way for James Watt with 21 points. Conker. Another shot clock violation. Coach Shaw loving what he's seeing. This guy is really turning up the smarts more than anything on the defensive end. It's like you said, that fourth quarter is, is what he's good at. Uh, he comes to life. I've seen it firsthand on multiple occasions. I seem to remember a while ago, and he'll love reminiscing about this do you remember the uh, buzzer beater at Derby I do Mark Rangeley I don't know what coach drew that play up but it was quite nice uh, Hooper collects the and one Chilia he's got to be close on fouls here it's his fourth third. foul Hooper will go to the line really looking forward to seeing these guys you know go at each other Hopefully we get that next for the next five minutes. I always said, Mike, the, the best players typically ignore or do not guard the best players. That's what I see with junior basketball. Well, the best players need to be playing against the best players. Yes. You don't need to go against the best players. If you walk onto the court and you're the best player, defend the best player. That's what we want to see, right? Yes, that's what, you know, that's what Costa's doing right now. He's guarding the best player and he's out there being a pest going to cause another shot clock violation here another one oh, turnover another turnover coach Hansel has seen enough timeout called they've got to be really careful James Watt that they don't get too frustrated at this point one possession lead they're doing okay just got to find a little bit of rhythm keep moving the ball try and get Cheshire open a little bit I'd like to see Cheshire come off a few screens even post up Costa it's not something they've exploited so far. And Cheshire yeah, has the size sure. advantage on him. Yep, 
you've got to be able to take that advantage as a, as a bigger guard. You, you need to look for that kind of stuff. Not agree, Mike? Very true. You know, you know, there is a mismatch there with the size. Obviously, it's going to, he is still going to be a pest no matter where it is. So. Another possession here for Matt Shaw to run some magic. Got to say as well, it's great to see the referees in the building. A long time out for some of the refs. Almost feels like normal, Mike. Almost. almost, almost. Paul Walton on uh, the third game here against Charmwood. Legend. Refereeing legend, some might say. No, we've got, you know, we got one of our top-class referees refereeing our game, so that's you know, it's a great privilege to have uh, you know, one of our BBL referees refereeing, refereeing our kids' games. What's the prediction on this possession here, Mike? We're going back, in, back inside to Hooper. Yeah, I see a three on this one. Okay. I'm going to call you, call, you, you cost a three on this one. Okay. Ah, oh, you didn't call that. They get the ball back. Jump ball. Yeah. Possession, they get it back. Still going to call this three. I think keep going back inside to Hooper. He's started to show what he could do with a few touches down low. Gets it to roll. Gets it to roll. Prosper out of nowhere, really. Gets it to roll. I mean, that first pass down at Hooper's feet, he probably didn't appreciate, but it's there, and it's a one-point game. Ah, oh, another turnover. Can't come up with it. Yeah, rescue, rescues it. Inside to Donker. Nothing going. Lydia back on the glass. Possession with Derby who have the opportunity here to take a lead. Costa, three. It hits the backboard, the other side of the backboard. A little bit off on that one. And just a little bit off. Blocking foul. Blocking foul on blocking Costa. Foul there. Established. Position wasn't established. Good call there by the ref. The ref fits. Another a legend of the game. It's going to Northwest. Not to knock his age, but he's been referenced since I was a since I was a young boy in, in the same in the same situations as these boys. So it's good to see good to see referees still out there doing it. Another violation, another moving screen. Natumba picking that one up. How many is that now, Mike? Seven? Seven. It's the, seven the seventh one. Seven possessions. Seven possessions on a one possession game. Okay. Four minutes left here. James Watt, who you will see is the home team, currently leading Derby by one. Alexander. Big three. Prosper. Unable to get it to go. As Ilya comes up with his 13th rebound of the game. We're in a triangle. Triangle and two. Matumba. Bonka. Adedeji. Two. Deep into the shot clock again. Makes it go. Big time shot by Adedeji. Adedeji, sorry. 16 points personal. Turnover, James Watt, who lead this one 65-62. Timeout called, timeout. And a timeout is called by Coach Shaw. Wants to talk it over. Remind that Charmwood College versus Myersco College follows this one. Delayed tip slightly. We're looking at around 5.15 p.m. Give the guys a chance to warm up. You'll, of course, be able to catch that game live 
here on the Basketball England YouTube channel. This is part of the EABL Summer Showcase. Today is Myasco Bubble. Next week, you can catch Southern EABL Bubble from Oakland's College. Be sure to check into that. Be sure to check into the EABL website as well for updates and scores. And also a great place to see the spotlight and highlighted players and performance of the week from the EABL Summer Showcase. Shout out to Kieran Neverson, who's trooping on through. Live stream king. Anyone st stood out to you so far? Not right now, everyone's um, settled in really. There's not really been any star plays going on lately. So we'll see what happens in the next three minutes. Obviously it's close now, where it was before it was pretty much an open game for, for Birmingham. Here we go. Coach Shaw, what has he got in his locker? Hooper up top. Carl Alexander. Gonna go to work. Webster couldn't quite connect, but Hooper comes up with a rebound. Alexander, that's got to be taken. Not there. Addo pulls it back. Derby, three attempts, nothing going. Ilya cleans it up. James Watt have an opportunity here to create a little bit of distance. As Prosper fouls. Not a bad foul to give. Might need to possibly be in the bonus as they get a little bit close to the last couple of minutes. Sideline ball. James Watt. Added edgy. Nothing going. Addo pulls it back. Pitch pass out. Alexander. Corner pocket. It's not there. A foul called. Looks like Ilya gets the foul from Alexander. And now, the next time, Derby will be in the bonus. Probably a couple of possessions too quick. Mike Bernard's currently looking at me. I think he was summoning for Costa to come back into the game. And his wish has been granted. As Costa checks back in for Derby. Costa's going to come in now and play that, that tight defence. Derby looking for a stop. This was a one possession game. Here it is. There it is. There it is. There it is. There it is. Oh, tied up. Couldn't come up with it. And yet. there it there is. It is. You, are you, uh, is that your inner Costa there? That's, uh, yeah. Two. I call a defensive stop every time he comes on the floor. Yeah, he's definitely a pest. 2.10 left, 65 plays 62. James Watt, possession ahead. Hooper. Webster. Addo. Oh, beautiful pass. I gotta love it, Prosper. Finds Hooper on the dump off, around the back, little bit of sauce. Get that in your top 10 plays of the week. Beautiful, Mike. It's a good call, that. Great nomination for, top, for one of the top players. I think some really nice passes actually in this game. A little dump offs down there. A one point game, 134 to go. Big possession. Need to score. Good block. Hooper says no. Not in shot my house. Violation. And the shot clock again. And you know what? There was a close call on your favourite thing in this uh, in this game. If you watched Ilya rolling down the middle, he didn't hold position. Could have been called. Could have been called. No referees have been calling that. 129 left. James Watt lead by one. Costa. Possession. Webster, Hooper, Prosper, it's a Hooper, going, Addo, finds Costa, Costa for three, sticks it, 66 plays 65, there goes my man Costa, Costa, 
is getting it done. He's again now getting the derby. Defense denying, denying his man, not allowing him oh, to get an easy catch. Oh, going to be deep into the shot clock again here from James Watt. Not going to have time on ball screen. Rushed shot, gets it to go. That's a big possession. Bogle. Big possession. Needed it. 45 seconds left. We have ourselves a game. 67 apiece. Couple of possessions left in this one. Trey, will it go? Costa. Costa oh, stripped. No. Added edgy. Gets they get it back. It back. Derby. Costa in the corner. He's in the corner. They missed him. He might be now had to come to life in the next <laughs> last minute. Costa. Prosper to Addo. Over his shoulder. Big play. Nothing going. Ten possession here to possession. win it. Ten seconds. Added edgy. Oh, it's open to the ring. Adedeji rolls it in. Defense parted like the waves. I am actually not, I'm not sure he realized that, that possession. I'm not sure he realized it was the last possession, but nevertheless, his, his shot went in. James Watt take a two point lead with 2.3 left on the clock. Coach Shaw now has to come up with some spice. You call him the fourth, the fourth period coach, so let's see. I sure do. I would also add, though, in the fourth quarter, that there is, I mean, some might say, just some, that he can potentially lose from this position as well. I mean, you can win or you can lose, obviously. As, oh. as he's found out the last time he played this. <laughs> but in, in Coach Shaw, I trust. 2.3 left. I see, a, I see a decoy play and get an easy layup under the basket, which will probably create some contact, and the ref will, will have to blow his whistle for an and one. Decoy play for a cost of three, just to he really goes, make you happy, Mike. Definitely throws some spice at that one. You got 2.3 left on the clock here. 69 play 67 in James Watt's favour. Coach Shaw using his second timeout. He must think that me and Mike are on flow with our conversation and therefore we can talk for another two minutes. As the camera comes over to us. What I could do here, Mike, is I could draw up a play that I would use, but I'm not going to do that. I think you should do it, actually. No, no, I'm definitely. That's me. Draw plays. This, is, this is NBL Live. I leave that with you. Coach, if I had Coach Cuddy with me, he would have drawn up two or three plays by this point and given me a choice. That's fine. Try Cuddy's the, the master, the master man, and the, the you know drawing up plays in the last second. I'd like to thank Kieran Neverson again for drawing attention to us. Here we go now with this you know, this final possession. Let's see what the, what the plays the plays going to be. I do think it's going to be a catch inside and we're going to go into overtime unless the referee is involved and he calls an and one. James Watt got some fouls to give here as well, which you know, could be really useful in breaking up the first part of this offense. Takes time off the clock. Obviously, you don't want to be fouling on a shot attempt, though. Here we go. We'll let this one play out, Mike. Lob, it's there. I don't, couldn't come up with it. Beautiful play by Coach Shaw. Unlucky on the finish. Great advert for the EABL here as James Watt take the two point win in game two of the day of our summer showcase here at Myersco. Huge game there, Mike. Enjoyable? Yeah, very enjoyable. Good game to watch. Hopefully everybody that was watching it enjoyed the game. Congratulations to James Watt on the two-point victory. Commiserations to Derby. Battle to the end. Notable performers. Sam Cheshire finished with 21 points, two rebounds, four steals. Adedeji, 18 points, five rebounds. 
let the line for uh, James Watt. Carl Alexander came in with 16 points and three rebounds for Derby. And our guy Costa, 15 points, five assists for the Trailblazers. Thank you very much for joining us. We are back in about 15 to 20 minutes as Maesco College take on Charmel College Riders in the last game of the day from the Northern Bubble. We hope to see you again. I've been Neil Hopkins. Thanks, Mike Bernard, for joining me. We'll see you again in about 20 minutes.